an interesting one for you. Do you feel that Tony Romo is a Pro Football Hall of Famer? Yes. May I ask why? <laughs> um, when you look what Tony has come from and what he's been able to accomplish, like Tony, Tony is a spectacular athlete, right? He doesn't look it. He looks doughy, right? He looks, he looks doughy. He looks like a, you know, Tony's had a dad bod his whole career. Um, but just what he's been able to accomplish here in, in Dallas with some talented teams, even he was held back for a long time under Jason Garrett. Um, just and a lot of what a lot of what he did with his success was on his own merit, his own accord. And I'm not saying something that I heard. I'm saying something that someone who's in the huddle with him, and knowing how he's changed a bunch of plays to to put his team in the, in the, in the most successful uh, position possible. I know the big knock is he doesn't have a ring, you know, doesn't have many deep runs in the playoffs. But when you look at the numbers, I think he has rival numbers where he'll eventually. He'll eventually get there. Do, do, you, do you think it's just because, I mean, yeah, statistically, the stats are off the charts, right? We have most Cowboy records. Uh, do you think it's just when people think they, they, when that question gets posed, do you think it's just kind of just the, it's the, ring. the, 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 the memories that are in people's heads? It's the ring. It's the ring. You, you're a quarterback. You're judged on one thing and one thing only, the rings. When, you're, when you play the quarterback position, it's can you get your team – to hoist the Lombardi Trophy. Can I ask you a somewhat controversial question? Sure. Do you think Tony Romo, if he doesn't go down that, the the first year of Zeke, when when you know the Cowboys made the they had the bye week in the Green Bay Packers game, you think that was a Super Bowl team with Tony Romo? It was Dak's rookie year, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that that team. Yeah, absolutely. Now there is a, there is a surefire Hall of Famer who they had on the on the other side that you got to contend with. Yeah. But I, I think I think if he doesn't go down. And we've seen him go toe to toe with the greats. We've seen him go toe to toe with the Paytons, with the Aarons, with the Drews, all of, you know, all his career. Um, I think you definitely you give yourself a much better chance with an experienced Tony Romo than you do with. The, and, and even in, in, in Dak in that situation, he played well. Yes, he came did. back. Came back. You know what I'm saying? Played well. Now think about that situation with the knowledge and the skill set of Tony Romo, being able to play in that in that game. You're talking, about, you're talking about a completely different type of mindset in the game where maybe you don't have to come back. Maybe you're in the lead that whole game, and now you get over that hump and you get there. But.